our biggest nugget of the day. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I'm a little cold because I just got out of the river from looking for gold under the water. We did have luck. I didn't get skunked. I found a few nuggets. It was awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. So the very first thing you must do if you don't already have this is a place to go. I usually have my spots planned out before I arrive, but not today. I did find the shallow area of bedrock that seemed to have compacted gravel on it. So let's see if there's a crevice underneath. Because this is compacted gravel, you want to scratch and fan relatively slow so you don't miss a piece of gold that could be laying amongst it. If the gravel is hard enough, it will act as bedrock, so gold could be sitting in it or even on top of it. I don't normally film this part, but sometimes it takes a little longer to adjust to how cold the water is. Later, I finally found a nice piece of gold. Check it out. Ooh they always look bigger underwater, but for sure this is a picker. I noticed it got a little bit bigger when I fanned some of the sand away. I love that sound. I noticed over 80% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Polly. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. Also, my merchandise store is now open at pioneerpolly.com. You should check it out. It's really cool. Now that I see there's gravel stuck around this piece of bedrock, and we just found that little gold nugget wedged in the side of it, I want to remove it to see if there's any more underneath. My crowbar would help here, but I left it somewhere upstream. After cleaning all this out, no more pieces of candy. I moved a little bit to the right where it was a little bit deeper and that's where I started seeing a lot more gold. Anytime you see gold laying around with pieces of lead, it's a good area to look because it means the heavies are dropping here and there could be lead or gold nearby. I found a bunch of heavy ironstone in this next spot, so I decided to clear out some of the bigger rocks to see exactly what the bedrock looked like. I discovered that it was far too silty and that I would have to either wait till the water rised even higher or move a lot more rocks so that the river could flow through this area, helping remove the silt. And I wasn't gonna do either. <laughs> Bailey's here again. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. You just uh, gold panning, yeah. making sure I'm uh, safe. I just found another picker, but I got it. Oh, there it is. I almost lost my spot. <laughs> I traveled a ways upstream to an area where I had previously lost a snuffer bottle full of gold last year. All right, so this happens to the best of us, but I'm laying right here and sniping in the river right here, and my foot must have knocked down my snuffer bottle. <laughs> so all that gold I found today is floating down the stream, 
somewhere down there. Let's find more. So what I'm looking for is these dark patches. Those are patches of bedrock, and that's where you're gonna find those crevices where the gold is. This area has a lot of bedrock, and it's easy to work because of how slow the water is. After farting around there for a bit, I went even further upstream near the top of this gold claim and discovered a bunch of this soft bedrock that I've never looked at before. Soft bedrock is not ideal for finding gold nuggets for a few reasons, including that being that it is so soft, the cracks and crevices don't last long enough for anything heavy like gold to fall into and stay stuck inside. The soft crevices will break away and push everything inside it further down the river. But because it is still bedrock and I know there could be gold nearby, it's definitely still worth looking. I've learned over time that the best gold you're going to find will be where nobody has looked before. So a lot of the time, expect to move some overburden to find these spots. After spending a little bit of time here, I found a little piece of gold. I refuse to get discouraged just yet. I don't want to move. I don't want to move. Whoa. Once I moved a bunch of boulders out of the way, I started noticing harder bedrock that was also decomposing. Which is always a good sign. Our biggest nugget of the day! One more time. It went right out the snuffer bottle. Perfect. I wanted to work deeper along that decomposing bedrock, but in order to do that, I need to spend a lot more time moving boulders there, which I'll probably do next time I'm out in this area. Hopefully for the 300th time. I'm across the river now, and I'm finding a lot more fine gold. I'm okay with fine gold. Small gold is surprisingly easy to spot underwater due to what's called refraction. And after I sucked up these little guys, I hunted for another hour, but came out empty-handed. Now for the embarrassing time of making a video thumbnail. Okay, that's it for me. I was in the water for a solid, you know, four to five years. Took forever. Only maybe a few hours, but uh, this is the gold that we found. The reveal. The spooky reveal. Yeah, baby. We got some candy in the pan. We have a little bit of lead in there too, which is typical for sniping. In my last couple videos, we found so little gold that I never ended up weighing it because I just didn't think it would weigh anything. But I think this is enough to weigh, especially these three. 40 ounces at least. So let's go home and do the thing with this stuff. So before we weigh this beautiful gold, I just wanna let you guys know that my merch store is finally back online again after being off for about a year. And you can now finally get yourself a hoodie, t-shirt, and a whole bunch of other things that are on their way. So starting with our first little nugget. Oops. I'm gonna guess point three ounces. Huh. 0 0.37 grams. Nugget number two. 0.5 ounces. 0.65 grams. And our biggest behemoth of the day, 17 pounds. 
0.89 grams. So that's 1.91 grams of nuggets. Now for the little stuff. Oh, pretty sure I just lost that one. 10 grams. 2.34 plus 2.34 grams. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. I have plenty of extra content on all my other social media platforms, including a Patreon account where you can see some exclusive stuff like behind the scenes footage and early release videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, my favorite gold videos.